Good evening and welcome to our Maundy Thursday service. Traditionally we would be in church and we'd be celebrating the institution of the Holy Eucharist and listening to the story of Jesus washing his disciples' feet and uh, following his example uh, we would be washing feet also. Then we would uh, enter into that solemn procession to the altar of repose, representing the Garden of Gethsemane, where Jesus spent his time in prayer before uh, Judas and the soldiers came to have him arrested. Tonight, we will uh, say night prayer, and I invite you at this time to just pause and to sit and listen to the words of comfort from scripture and instead of intercessions this evening we will have some 10 minutes of uh, quiet time in the presence of the blessed sacrament here and uh, we can enjoy that time together with some very very gentle music in the background The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 4. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in our hearts. More than when their corn and wine and oil increased. In peace I will lie down and sleep. For it is you, Lord only, who make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Tonight's scripture reading comes from the prophet Zechariah. 
I will pour out a spirit of compassion and supplication on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. So when they look on the one whom they have pierced, they shall mourn for him, as one mourns for their only child, and weep bitterly over him, as one weeps over their firstborn. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, Lord my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on a tree, that we might die in sin and live in righteousness. Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace, your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and to the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever, world without end. Amen. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die in sin and live to righteousness. So now, I invite you to spend some time in prayer, meditation, peace and silence as we gather with our Lord made present in the most blessed sacrament of the altar and offer to him our own prayers for the world, for those whom we love and for ourselves. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Almighty God, as we stand at the foot of the cross of your Son, help us to see and know your love for us, so that in humility, love and joy, we may place at his feet all that we have and all that we are. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. As Jesus taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. And the Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen.